In this lesson, we are going to cover a command called Projected View. Now, if you would like to work along with me, you can go into your Work and Files folder and open this sheet with the two views. Just make sure you open the drawing file called Angle Bracket and not the Part file. Or you can simply insert an A3 sheet format and then insert these two views. Then we're ready to start the Projected View. So I am going to select Projected View. A very simple property manager opens. It's nothing more than a message and how to display cosmetic threads. In the message, it states, please select a drawing view from which to project. So if I want to create a top view from the front view, I'll select the front view. And notice I can create a top view. It projected a top view. I can also do a pictorial view, bottom view, left hand side. Now you may be wondering, why all the options for creating the views? In my opinion, I think SolidWorks has given you options so you can see what is most efficient for you. However, when it comes to the projected view command, I believe this command is here because if you have a drawing already existing and you decide at a later time you want to add another view, the projected view is the command. So based on this lesson and the previous lessons, you can add views by model view, standard three view, projected view, and the view palette. And remember, just click the drop down, select the part or assembly, and you have your views. And this will wrap up our lesson on projected view.